<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're doing a assumptions video. So I've posted, we both have posted on our stories, um, make assumptions about us. And the last one I said was make an outrageous assumption about us. So I've got some very questionable questions, <laughs> but um, we're gonna uh, go through the questions and the assumptions actually and say if they're true or false. There's lots of interesting ones, so I'm very happy about it. So thank you for sending them through. Okay. Yacht is pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. No, she's not. She's got to come to my wedding in Greece, so no pregnancy. No pregnancy. Sorry about that. That, that I breastfed Zani. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. Okay, so I Zani was exclusively breastfed for four and a half months, so she had no formula for four and a half months. But I couldn't give her the amount of milk she needed because she's a very big eater, drinker, drinker person. So I would give her my milk and then Yacht would kindly <laughs> donate her milk. Zani didn't suck on her titties, but Zani did um, get fed by Yacht's milk. It was only a little bit. No, it was actually a lot, was it? It was like liters. You're a very great cow. Thank you. So yeah, Yacht has a lit milk supply and mine, even though my boobs are huge, I didn't have as much. I think you did, she just drank a lot. She drank a lot. The, I've got a lot of questions saying we can both, the assumption is you can both speak Greek and then other assumptions saying you can't speak Greek. So the, the truth is Yacht can speak fluent Greek. Is it fluent anymore? I don't know, but yeah. Yes, she can and I cannot, but I can, but you're learning. Yeah, I can understand a lot and I can, I sing like all the Greek nursery rhymes. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> no idea what I'm saying. They're different rhymes because we sing them at different times. But it's fine. Um, something about clapping your hands and something, something, I'm assuming. <laughs> Imagine if it was like, I'm a fuckhead, yes I am. I'm a fuckhead, yes it's I am. It's definitely not your fuckhead. I've got a really, really common one, which is that I'm really shy and you're really outgoing. But I feel like we both have our... I feel like you're way more social than me in our real lives, but I'm more outrageous in what I say. Mm. But you're very... That's what I mean though, so it's like cautious. a split. Yeah, Yacht, so she's a quiet one, I'm the out loud one was the assumption. I'm gonna say that's wrong. Mm. Yacht is actually very outrageous and really inappropriate, but no one sees it because she's smart about when she shows it, whereas I'm not smart. I have a lot of fighting questions again. Do you all wanna Same. see us punch on or something? Like, should we have a should we have a fight in the ring? <laughs> Yes. But we really don't. Yeah. We've, I'm really sorry. It's pretty boring. Yes, I had like at least 10 questions Same. saying you guys, do you guys fight? I also had, fight. had, you've had a long break in your friendship. Same. No. Definitely not. You want to try and plan to have your next children at the same or close in age. Yeah. I feel like ideally we would. Yeah. But it's kind of hard to plan when. I'm definitely planning for September. Yeah, I don't know. I think y'all will just try and whatever happens, it happens. Hopefully it's like the same time. Yeah. Um, you drink a lot of water. So she got a UTI last week for not drinking enough <laughs> water. And my pee is brown. That so. was a bad run. I stopped breastfeeding so I thought I could just- Same. You know, but it didn't work. Yeah, um, same. Constantly working even when you're on holidays as your business owners. I feel like, look, when you're a business owner, you're always working. But there are different like levels of working, so it might not necessarily be like 100% yeah. switched on working. Like we're always talking about work, but it doesn't really feel like work. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you had a privileged childhood, is an assumption. <laughs> what was that one for? <laughs> um, I had a very comfortable childhood. Um, yeah, my yes. parents. Yeah, my parents really blessed and we were given a great start in life but that leads us on to the next assumption that we got given money to start our business 
which we did not. So we were forced to work to save 20 grand. 10 each, yeah. Yeah, 10 grand to start the business. So our parents didn't help us. They were supported in other way. ways. Yeah. Like they let us destroy their house. We'd take stock. over yeah, the bathroom. And my house is full of postage satchel that everyone was handwriting. Vess has more of a say in Sabo. <laughs> um, no, we have an equal say. And actually, George, my brother, has an equal say as well. So we're all as one. And we all have the same amount of say. Yeah, the reason we did that is because there was a business decision at the start, remember? We said there are two of us, so if there are times where we don't agree, we're going to need a third person who's going to like decide mm. if we're not in agreement, and that's it's just stuck like that it's worked really well we haven't ever not been in agreement. <laughs> yeah well even if we are if we're never not in agreement, it's like mm. yeah you could do it better um you both did really well in high school and uni you did i feel like i had these like when you were like yeah you met george and yeah then, like it went down and then like no, you stayed down for a while till the last year of uni. Then it really <laughs> peaked. I was like an average Joe. I didn't excel at school, didn't excel at uni, but I passed everything. So I got by. You guys only wear Savo skirt. Well, right now we are, but no, that's not true. We wear lots of different brands and love supporting other labels and love mixing our clothes with other and shoes and bikinis. Your husband and fiance are also best friends. I feel like they're very close yeah. and they, they get on really well, which is awesome for us because they can just, and we can just, it's correct. So here are some outrageous assumptions. You're both virgins. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we have children. Yeah. And we are not virgin now. Do you like anal? Well, I would rather die personally. <laughs> Someone assumed it's hard for us to talk about your sex life because I you're, that too. you're dating my brother. And I mean, it is a little bit hard when I'm like, <sighs> when he, I'm like, just picture it someone else, picture it someone else. <laughs> but um, we still do talk about it, but I think she has to hear a lot more shit on my end because she can. Sorry about it. <laughs> um, oh, here's one. You have both had your lips done. So this is Al Natural. And I had my lips done three years ago. So it's be the Al Natural. Yeah, it's pretty much all gone. Um, you've both done drugs. This is a great question. Mm. Um, we both had never done drugs. And then we both decided we'd try um <laughs> brownies together like eight years ago and we nearly died just put it lightly <laughs> um, it felt like we nearly died i did not like it so we've done it once and zero times since then um the assumption that my eyesight's actually fine you don't actually have prescriptions <laughs> so wrong <laughs> i'm so blind george and des are very unwell in the sightseeing <laughs> department. And if you put these on, oh, I don't even know if you can maybe tell them a little. It's not well. I can't see shit. So I have a very common assumption, frequently asked assumption that we are both wealthy. Um, I'm gonna let her answer this one. I mean, we work very hard and we reinvest a lot of our money, not just into Savo Skirt, but into different avenues and we're working really hard to set up our future. Future. And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> so another assumption I have is you guys get annoyed when other companies make similar clothes after you release yours. <laughs> it's like, why can't you just fucking design your own shit? Or like shoot in your own fucking location? Or use a different bloody well model? Just does my head in. We find it really frustrating because we work 
really hard with our team to create unique products and unique shoots. And coming from a creative perspective, when you do that and put all this time into it, and then someone literally goes to the exact same spot. In, same model, same props, same clothes. In rip-offs of your clothes. Like it's just heartbreaking. It's not nice. So to answer that assumption, do we get annoyed? Fuck yeah, we get annoyed. But we're doing things to sort of try and yeah. alleviate how much people can copy. Yeah, so catch us if you can. Um, another assumption is that you both have live-in nannies for your adorable babies. I wish. These, these are not from having a nanny. No, we don't. We have no nannies, but we have lots of hands that help us. Yeah, we're so really we're, lucky. Yeah, our families help us a lot. So our babies go to their grandmothers twice a week, so we can come to work with no distractions for twice a week. And other than that, full time mothers. The assumption is you are both very popular in high school. Um. My, in my high school, I wasn't like in the popular cool group. I was friends with different girls in each group. So like, and my group was so random. Like we had lots of, we didn't go to the same school by the way. My group, we had like lots of random personalities in my group and I'm still friends with most of them. Um, but no, I wasn't like the it girl at That's school. That's pro pretty much the same thing with me, except I had four different ways including Giorgio in my friendship group. You guys went to the formal together. I went to the formal together. Remember they went to the formal together and she was dating my brother at the time, but they had to go to the same formal together because you could only take people from the same, same school. school. And I went to her priest and I was like, oh. she was staring at Giorgio, so not me. I was like, oh my God, him in a suit. He was like this little runt in a suit. It's like, oh my God, he's so hot. With a pink tie that matched my dress. Yeah, he was salmon. <laughs> well, we hope you learnt some things about us today. There were some pretty interesting assumptions. Mm. Very repetitive actually, which means so people many. assume very common things. Some yeah. true, some false. We hope you liked it. <laughs>